Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Welcome to my channel. In this clip, we want to talk about how we can uh, have access to the microphone uh, of our device, doesn't matter, mobile, uh, Windows, Mac, or whatever, uh, with WebGL in Unity, because by default, Unity doesn't have access directly to the microphone of device uh, whenever you want to export from uh, Unity for uh, WebGL. So in this clip, we want to uh, understand how we can have this access directly. Okay, let's go to the, our uh, project here. But before adding the uh, going through to the project, we should have this plugin. Uh, which is uh, I shared the link of this plugin uh, inside the description of this video. Uh, you will come here github.com and uh, Everyel Unity WebGL microphone. In this project, it uh, says how we can have this uh, connection directly. You need to just go here, download the zip. It will be the whole com uh, project. You just need to add this assets folder, these two thing, uh, folders to your main project, just that, or using his uh, pro project entirely. However, this project is for uh, Unity 5.6.2, which is uh, very old, about four years ago. But whenever you import just these two folders, they will work, no problem, in your Unity. For example, my Unity is 2021.3.23, it is really new. Just you need to uh, change something in your uh, project, especially for this display mix. Uh, this is the example scene. Whenever you come here, Unity WebGL uh, microphone scenes, you'll see this one, display mix. but uh, you should change something in the display mix uh, script because by default it uses uh, it used the uh, ungui because it uh, at that time we didn't have ui uh, unity so uh, you just need to make a comment and or remove it from your main script but at this part in the void update, by default, it has just this. But uh, you should add using TM Pro and using uh, adding two variables: public text max pro GUI label one and label two for showing the device name and device uh, volume. And here, string array devices microphone dot devices float array volumes microphone dot volumes. And in here, label t label one dot text. It will be the amount of count of microphone devices. And in here, uh, in this four, we will say okay, index equals zero, index less than devices dot length. This part and uh, plus plus in for index. And in here, we will write the device name. At this point, level two dot text string dot format device name and volume and device name here. That's it. And I just need to uh, I switch it platform to the WebGL and build and run. If you want to test on your web browser, you should you should build and run. And whenever you want to just build, you can't open it on your browser. But whenever you build and run, you can launch it on your browser. Let's see. Okay, we have access and get it and permission. Hello, look at this. Microphone allowed. And in here we have our volume and microphone count is one. So you can use this technique to have access to your microphone whenever you want to export for a WebGL. If you have more, uh, if you need more accessories to your uh, microphone, you should come over here, uh, plugins, WebGL, microphone. In this script, as you can see, uh, there is a lot of uh, accesses for the microphone and whenever you want to export for WebGL. For example, devices, names, 
the volumes, is recording or not, get device caps and stop static end. It is the all use cases of the microphone whenever you want to uh, use of use a default microphone of the Unity for other devices except WebGL. Okay, I hope this tutorial will be helpful for you. Don't hesitate to ask any any question related to Unity, AR, VR, and XR. Subscribe my channel and like this video if you like it. Have a great time. Bye-bye.